Found a letter. Take. Okay. Um. Next, go ahead and grab this. Well, the music stopped playing. <laughs> the music stopped because uh, I because I'm taking too damn long to get shit to happen. Whatever, I don't care. Um. Oh, you hold it. You don't just press it like in Zelda. You you have to hold it for, and wait for the guy to lean over and grab whatever it is he's opening or searching or whatever. <laughs> oh wow, wow, these controls I've never used before. All right now, oh, now go over here and search. I guess right here. Yeah, yeah. Find a book. I'm okay. Take. Oh, I didn't even select anything with that lantern. I just touched it and selected it, huh? I guess you don't have to select items, you know, press A like in Silent Hill and stuff. Is there something here? Oh, that thing moves. Should I, like, I don't know, search it for whatever reason? I thought I thought I needed to search that. Let's open this up. Hey, the music just stops and and uh, what am I doing? The music just stops and uh, gets you to it gets you to nothing. Old Indian cover. Well, that thing looks colorful. The music just stops and waits for another cue. It doesn't loop like in like in you know like in well any newer game in, in a certain area would. If the music just plays. The music track just plays, and once it's done, it just stops. <laughs> and then there's no sound besides the sound effects and all that. Huh. Interesting. With these old games, this an old game. This old game. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's about. I wonder what that that book and stuff. Uh, Book. Read. Fragment of the Myth of the Golden Fleece. Translation, Edouard de Villeban. Hesperides Publications. Wait, was, was I supposed to press A like that, or... Or... Oh, sh I, wonder, I hope I can read it again. Wait. Read. I think you know, like in the beginning, you fragment of the myth of the like in the beginning, fleece. you uh, you press uh, Edouard de Villeban, you press uh, left and right to turn the page, or, or to go to the next slide. I wonder if it works like this. In here. Yep, it does. Press left and right. That's then weird. Perseus came across Ichios, who had been turned into stone. He spoke to his companions and said, "Beware of the Medusa." He who looks into their eyes is doomed to the same fate as that which befell poor Ichios, and will never more set eyes on Seraphos. Must we go blindfolded? asked Imalops. Take up your bronze shields and polish them until they flash in the sun, answered Perseus. Fill your hearts with courage. May Artemis guide us as though we were an arrow from... <laughs> it just stops until you turn the page. At the, in the middle of that sentence, that last sentence on this page here. And there was a, that was a long pause. I thought I, I thought it was just going to stop reading after it said courage in that period and said may, blah, blah, blah. And you're probably thinking, hey, I just turn the page, go next. And, well, well, you know, these, these playthrough videos will go at you know, the pace that I choose, they will. So, you know, bear with me. <laughs> what? Okay, okay. I'm gonna try to ignore the audio and let it distract. Oh, okay, what was that sentence? I forgot what it even was. May Artemis guide us as through we were an arrow from her quiver. 
or her quiver. No, that's not a question mark. <laughs> May Arthemis guide Percy's us as though we were an arrow from her quiver, okay? 